Hi guys, this is Beekeeper Charlotte from CarolinaHoneybees.com and I'm coming to you today from my bee yard. It's mid-February here. The temperatures are still cool. We still have some winter to go. We've had a good bit of rain lately. So today I'm in the bee yard to give my colonies a little bit of stimulus feeding. I've mixed some one-to-one -one sugar water and I've added a little bit of my favorite supplement, which is Honey Bee Healthy. Now what I'm trying to do is not, this is not a survival food for bees that I'm necessarily worried about starving. I'm trying to stimulate them to begin to brood up. I like to do this in mid-February because this time of year, the red maple trees are usually in bloom and I have been seeing that. And that's the first good nectar source for me. The honeybees will go out and forage on the red maple and a few other things that may be blooming. And they will bring back essential pollen and nectar. Now, most of the time, I can't expect to get any honey that's produced from red maple nectar. But it's very important and it does affect my honey crop because the red maple nectar will be used to raise young baby bees. And those baby bees will be the foragers that will gather the honey crop for me when we get on in to April and May. March is one of the most likely times for honeybee colonies to starve to death because the colony is under pressure to raise young. And the nurse bees will actually sacrifice their own health to try to feed those new babies. Their time is coming to an end. They have lived over the winter, and as we get on into spring, those older bees will die off. So the young babies are the future of the hive. What I'm gonna be doing today, I have some feeders, internal feeders that I've put in the colonies. I'm going to be adding some sugar water to my feeders, not trying to push the bees and give them a lot of syrup, but just trying to give them a little bit along. And while I'm up here, I'm also going to do an oxalic acid vaporization because you will have mites that have lived over the winter in the hive. Now, oxalic acid vaporization is an approved treatment. It's been very successful in Europe, but one of the problems with it is that it only kills the phoretic mite. It only kills the adult mite that is on the adult bees. It doesn't kill the mites that are in the capped cell raising new mites. And that's why a lot of people like to do oxalic acid vaporization at a time when there's no brood. But that doesn't work as well for me. Some of my queens will actually carry brood almost all winter. I'm going to treat with the oxalic acid in three sessions. I'm going to treat them today and then weather permitting in a week I will do it again and then in another week I will do it again and then at that point I may not have gotten rid of all the mites but I hope that I will have the mite population suppressed enough that my bees will be able to work through the honey flow and make honey for themselves and for me and then once I get the honey harvest off the hive I can reevaluate what I want to do at that time whether I want to use the oxalic acid for another session or if I want to try one of the other soft treatments. So February is spring for the bees. Spring has arrived. Now we humans may still have a few more weeks of winter and you know we're going to have some cold weather and possibly snow or ice. But right now the bees are starting to grow new bees for the year and they are into spring. So if you have bees already be sure that you keep an eye on what's going on in that colony. As we get into a little bit warmer weather, they're really going to ramp up raising young and they're going to need some food. Uh, we don't want to get this far and have our colony just starve to death. I'm going to get to work today and get this job done. This is Beekeeper Charlotte from CarolinaHoneybees.com.